Hey, scholars. Today, I want to write a note to my friend, Miss Steph, because I miss her. And then the next time I see her, I can give her the note that I wrote her so that she knows that I care about her. So if I want to write a letter to somebody, how would I do that? Well, here, let me show you. Now to start a letter, we first start with the word dear. Dear kind of means you're my friend. D, d. We're starting, so we start with a capital D. Dear, dear, er, oh, that's an R at the end. Dear Miss Steph. Miss Steph is a person, so I capitalize those first letters of her name. Mm, mm. Mm, eh. Has two S's, and then I need another finger space for the second part of her name, Steph. Now, when you're done writing the person's name, you'll put a comma. That means you're beginning, you're ready to start what you want to say to your friend. Dear Miss Steph. First, I want to tell her that I miss her. So I'm going to write, I miss you. When you're talking about yourself, I, you always capitalize it, even if it's not the first part of the sentence. I, now finger space, I miss you. Miss is two S's. I miss, another finger space, you. That's a sight word. I know how to spell that one. So, so far I've got, dear Miss Steph, I miss you. But I'm done with this first sentence, so I need to put a period. I want to ask Miss Steph what books she's reading. Because I'm reading a lot of books at home. I want to know if she's reading books at home too. So I'm on to my next sentence, so I'm going to need to capitalize it. I'm going to ask her, are you reading books at home? Capital A, the word are. Are. Next one, you. I already wrote that one. That's one of my sight words. Are you. Finger space, read. That's a sight word too. Read ing. Oh, I know that one. I N G ing. I N G ing. Are you reading books? Oops, I don't think I'm have enough space there. So I need to come down here. Are you reading books? Books. Finger space. At another sight word. I know how to spell that one. At. And then another finger space. Home. Home. That's another, that's another sight word. Are you reading books at home? Now, let me think about this. I'm done here, so I might need a period, but I need some punctuation. And a period just doesn't I'm not sure that makes sense, because I'm asking Miss Steph a question. Are you reading books at home? I'm asking her a question. So instead of a period, I'm going to write a question mark. Now I'm done with my letter. But I need to tell her who it's from. Because if I give this to Miss Steph, she might say, oh, was this from one of the scholars? So I want her to know it's from me. So to close your letter, you have a few different options. One of my favorites is to write sincerely. Sincerely means that you really care about somebody. So I'm going to write sincerely. S capital S. Sin has the sight word in there. 
sincerely really tough word to spell so you might need to pause the video so that you could write it too sincerely means you really care about somebody you then do another comma so just like up here when we started with a comma we're going to end with a comma here sincerely and then you write your name mr rogers Let me read it over again just to make sure that I have everything I need. Dear Miss Steph, I miss you. Are you reading books at home? Sincerely, Mr. Rogers. Yeah, I think this will make Miss Steph happy. It'll let her know that I care about her. So today, we learned how to write a letter to somebody. We start with dear and then their name, and then a comma. And then at the end of it, we say, sincerely, or your friend, comma, and then you write your name. Who are you gonna write a letter today? Bye, see you soon.